my gosh, you guys, I haven't posted in a month. But I just uploaded some videos, two videos of me and Maisie, because she spent the night with me the night before last night. And that was really cool, and we had lots of fun. We filmed multiple videos, but I only decided to post two because not all of them were good. So, um, yeah, I'm very sorry that I didn't post in a month because mom has the hiccups. First of all, I was sick for a while. Then, um, I just wanted to spend some time off camera. I was in school for a little bit. But, yeah, for my last video was my Squeezable Squish collection and by myself and Squishy from Wish. And I still was in school when I filmed that video and then I got sick. And then I took some the time off camera and then me and my family were talking about us going on our road trip, which you guys probably, hopefully I might make a video of us going on a surprise road trip to two places and I'm so stoked, so excited. Um, but I just wanna give a big thank you to all 14 of you guys. You guys, I have 14 subscribers. That doesn't really seem like a lot, but that means like, that sounds like a lot to me because I know I started off with like seven subscribers and then I went on to 10 and now I'm at 14. I can't believe it and I'm so stoked, you guys. Thank you very, very much. That means everything to me to know that only 14 people are watching my YouTube channel. Like, that's not a lot of people. But, I mean, to me, that's a lot of people. A lot of people. 14 people watch my videos. Like, wow. So, anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of my paper squishies. Because on my paper squishy collection video, I got a comment saying... How do you make your paper squishy so so rising? Also, they are very cute. Very cute. So thank you very much. I forgot who the person was, but I'm going to look back and I might put her name or the person's name on the screen. Um, but yeah. So let's just get on with it. But first, I need to go get the ingredients because I was too lazy to bring them with me right now. So yeah. The ingredients. The stuff you need is markers and more markers. Tape and more tape. Trash bags and more trash bags. Scissors and obviously paper. Okay, so you can't really see if I like only if I do that. If I do like that, my phone will fall. So I need to get an angle. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, so first you need to take a piece of paper. I'm going to do mine on the carpet because it's easier angle. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see my beautiful face. But, um, yeah. And first thing first is you're going to want to fold. Make sure you that good. First things first is sheet. You're probably gonna want to. You're gonna want to fold. Um. In half, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make it as good as you possibly can. Mine's like not even perfect. See, it's not on the crease. You're gonna lock the on door for yourself, okay? And then. Did I die anything? Yeah. What and do? Measure the new flooring. And I'm gonna make like rainbows, so then you're gonna make your design. Actually, that was so. That was actually really good lighting. The door was open. Um, I'm gonna close this door because it's kind of freaking me out. Um. What just happened? Okay. So. Um. Okay. I can't get this lid. Here it is. So you're gonna wanna make a rainbow or whatever you're gonna make, I'm gonna make a rainbow. Okay. As you guys could see, I moved the paper 
along with when I was drawing, so it didn't make a really bad rainbow shape. So there's my red, and I'm going to continue on with the pattern. So I have orange, yellow, green, blue, light, purple, and then I put dark purple, and there's like still a lot of space left, so I'm just going to color that in with pink. Even though people say that pink's not in the rainbow. But for <clears throat> my rainbow, pink is going to be in the rainbow. And I don't really know if this is, like, necessarily a pink. But it's, like, the closest color to, like, a pinkish. So it's, like, a salmon color. Really pretty. Um, And it doesn't really look too bad, but I mean... <clears throat> there's my finished product so after you've done that oh my gosh the video has been six minutes and I haven't even made paper squishy yet okay so now you're just going to cut it out but do not cut the bottom whatever you do don't cut the bottom so I just finished color or cutting it out and the my scissors were really sticky so they didn't really let me so I didn't get to cut all the red out, so it's kind of only orange, and there's not really that much red. But that's fine, and if you want to color the back rainbow, you totally can, or you can color it whatever color you want to. In this case, I'm just going to color it pink. So I just finished coloring the back. Here's what it looks like. And now at this point, you're just going to want to place the tape basically at all the edges, but you're going to want to leave... Um, one little space for one little like opening that you have did not tape for um, to put your trash bag in it basically does that make sense hopefully it does to be honest that didn't really make any sense to me but I mean it's okay Nothing to cry about. <clears throat> so mine is a rainbow, and obviously rainbows are curvy, so taping is a little bit difficult. But I mean, I'm going to try to do my best. What am I using this one? I'm going to try to do my best in master taping, but I'm not that good at really taping curving edges squishies because as you guys if you guys have watched my paper squishy collection video you probably saw that probably almost every single one of those paper squishies were like square rectangle basically and uh yeah <laughs> But I mean, but I mean, it's fine, I guess, because I don't really like doing curved paper squishies just because they're harder. And by the way, this is just like a time for me to talk to you guys. So I don't really like doing paper squishies. I barely do paper squishies anymore, to be honest with you guys. And I really need to hurry up because I just need to hurry up because I really need to do something after this video. Alright, so I left a little space at the top. And once you've left your space at the top, you're going to... Wait, first I want to make sure the back is all taped and stuff. Because I'm... Make sure the back is taped as well because the back is just as important as the front. Because like if because um you want to make sure you tape the back because you might tear the back and not the front, but still the back is also really good, so. just finished taping up the back it doesn't look that 
good. But I prefer to use clear tape, not the foggy clear tape, but I mean, whatever works best for you. So now you're just gonna take your stuffing, mine is a trash bag, and um, you're gonna wanna put the stuffing in there. So, basically, yeah. I'm put the stuff in here. By the way, I might put some music in this video because I haven't put music in a lot of my videos lately, and I just thought that I might do it for this one. Okay, so I think that's good. So, yeah, my scissors are gluey, so they're not the best scissors to have on you, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. Oh my gosh, okay, now I just need to manage to tape this somehow. I think I have an idea of taping. This right here, like that. Put that down, cross over, and tape this down, just like that. But boom, and then I gotta do it. By the way, you guys, I know that I'm not really that funny, but I mean, it's okay. so sorry about this video being so long but I also don't want to film short videos because then you guys won't have much to watch in that video because it's gonna be short so I don't like filming long videos but I don't like filming short videos so it's like a little bit different so yeah that's how you make a paper squishy And they're really airy if you use trash bags. I don't really know how you squish your paper squishy. Okay, You're not slow rising. Look at it rise. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to make a paper squishy. Um, again, thank you for 14 subscribers and I'm very sorry that I haven't posted in a long time. But I'm going to try to post more often now. If I don't post tomorrow, then I hope for a post the next day. If I don't post the next day, I'll post the next day. I'm sorry, but on Friday, um, look out for this Friday because that's when um, we're leaving to go to the surprise location on our road trip. So, um, yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on so you guys get notified when I post that video and when I post other videos down and where we're going. So, down where we're going. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. Love you guys. You know, do what you gotta do. Bye. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share friends. Okay, bye.